Yeah. And uh, as far as you training method, Charles, what is it? What what which books, uh, mentors, uh, develop your training method? Well, because there's a saying. I'm sorry. There's a saying in L.A. If big is not enough, then there's Charles Glass. What happened is that I just happened to hook up with some guys who was working on PhDs at Berkeley, and um, we started to work together. And but they would make me read everything before they give me the answer. If I couldn't come up with the answer, they said read a little bit more. You'll find it right there. It's in front of you. Just look for it. And so that's what I started to do. And before you know it, I started to get more and more knowledge just by reading and trying it on myself. Mm. Because I remember, I mean, I started training in 97, and the only way I will be able to, 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 to see your training or your, your, it was either, either, I was living back in TJ back then, so it was either you drive all the way to Venice or just subscribe to Flex. Flex, Muscle Mag, which one was the other one, guys? Strength and Health. Yes. So that Iron was the Man. only way to see you. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and I always I remember seeing Charles just doing these crazy movements on and, and our shoulder press, using it for, I don't know, for tricep or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and what is it that made you, oh, because I know, I, now that we went together for six years training, you asked my, my, my trainer, uh, I know how your mind works now. You step out to the side, you see the, 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 the large picture, the big picture, the big picture, and you're like, okay, this can be worked for this and this and that instead of just a press movement, right? right? Well, you always try to assess what you have and what you need to get to be where you want to go. So I always try to look at myself. I mean, critique yourself to the fullest. Don't just say, oh, well, I got everything, I'm all right. No, there's always something wrong and you got to correct that. And you look at the weaknesses on the other guys, say, look, if I improve this, then I can know I can beat this guy here. You know, so you start working toward those goals and you try to figure out what's going to get you there. Not, not quick, but what's going to get you there, no matter how long it takes to get there. And so you train hard with the intent to be there. To be that number one person, you got to make sure you have the least amount of flaws. So you go that route. Yeah, because I think that's, that's the hardest part for, uh, for especially athletes. Um, it's to, true assessment. True assessment. Most people can't give you true assessment because they're afraid of hurting your feelings. And especially if it's a trainer, they they're afraid to lose a client. Yeah. I don't and I'd rather lose a client because I told them the truth straight out, especially if it's an athlete. If it's an Irish people that they want to train, I probably, I will say it differently. But if it's an athlete, I'll go straight out. And then, and, uh, and I've lost clients because of that. But that's I'd rather the best do that. way to be. I mean, honesty is always going to prevail, you know. So if you go around telling you, oh, this guy, you need that, you need this, you need that, and then all of a sudden they figure out, wait a minute, he don't know what he's talking about. And then they go start talking to Tom, Dick, and Harry, then all of a sudden he got all this confusion going on. So you go stick to one person and listen to what they have to say. You get to that point where you can't grow anymore, then you seek help elsewhere. Push, push from the pinky going in. There you go, good. Mm hmm. Yeah, it, it curves that pet. Get more tension in the lower chest. Lower chest. See? That's why he's there. <laughs> That's why he's there. One more, one more, one more, one more. Now. Oh, it contract. You push let it push your body back. There you go. Good. Let it push you back. Perfect. And you have your hands here, you turn and push toward the pinky. There you go, good. Good, that's it. Oh, you got it. I went first on the other two. I need more rest. With the grip, I'm guessing that you keep your palms open more than you Palms open like this. Okay. And then you push. Push it in from there, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, put the bag back. Lock it. No, I I'll give you that one, so just stay there. You want that 80 pounds? I don't know if I'm built for that. No. 
Open hand, open hand. Now, roll that pinky around. There you go, good. Mm -hmm. Push it in, good. Good contraction, that's it. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, when you push, turn it. Ready, turn it. Good, that's the one, right there. Now, bring your butt forward a little bit more. Now go. Now push. There you go. Good. Good. Two more like that. Two more. One. Now hold it there. Lean forward a little bit. Lean forward. Now. Now what you do, you hold it here. Slide your butt back. You're leaning. Now. Oh, open it up and stay forward. Open it, open it, open. Now when you contract, lean back. Contract. Now lean back when you push forward. Lean back, good. There you go. Lean forward in, catch it, catch it. Now, lean back, good, come on. You're, it's a rocking motion, come on. Lean back, there we go, right there, that's the one. Do it again. Hit it, good. Mm-hmm. Push, good, mm-hmm. That's it, good, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one more, one more, come on, come on. Push it, push it, push it. Got it. How'd it feel? Good. All in the pack, right? Good, perfect. Push it back against the pad, slide the butt back a little bit more. Right there, stay just like that. Grab, get that side for him, please, thanks. Mm -hmm. Open, come back around. Now don't, don't go too far. Right to about there, now, don't bend that wrist, but open, open, cup your hand, cup it. Cup like this, and when you push, push like that, okay? Here we go, go. Good, there you go. That's it. There you go, there you go. Push it around. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's it, come on. Hold it there, hold it there. Slide the butt back in, lean forward. Now, when you open it up, just lean into it, okay? Lean into it right there. Now, contract, lean back, squeeze. There you go. Lean into it. Now, go. That's it, good. Mm -hmm. Turn those hands out. Push. Now we're doing it. Push and squeeze. Good. That's it. Push it, push it, push it. Good. Come on. Two more like that. Come on. You need one more like that. Come on, come on, you got it, you got it. Push it, squeeze, squeeze, got it. How'd that feel? I started doing those the other week just to see how they feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it feels great, you get like, it pulls it all the way in. All the, the tension goes all the way across. All the way across. Right, the way across. Okay. Now lean forward when you push. There you go, now, let it stretch. Drop it into it, there you go, drop, drop, drop. Now push, there you go, that's it. Mm -hmm.
That's it. Come on. Good. Two more like that. Come on. One. Just take a hand. He's like, oh, is there more? Like, no, sister. <laughs> I know turning the hands into it. That's it. Squeeze and let it push you back. That's it. Mm -hmm. One more, one more. Good. Perfect. That was it. That's it. That was the last one. Charles, uh, do any of these machines not, do you, you're not feeling it? Like, what do you think of this chest press? I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> yeah. Just something to consider for everyone at your own gym. Because that's not much different than this. Yeah. Thumbs down, right? Yeah. This is good. Right, that's, that's great. I love that one. Yeah. Something to consider, because everybody has different equipment. Um, that Nautilus shoulder, I think you, you dig that one. Yeah, because that can do different things with it, so that's why. So. Excuse me. What's the reason? Would you stay strict with the pad? When does the lean come in? When does that stretch come in? It's just two different variations. That's all it is. Okay. Different variation. Variation. Okay. All right. When people perform a a, a, a cable crossover, <laughs> right? You want them to duplicate this. Do not. Yeah. Same thing. You cable crossover is the exact same thing we're doing here. It's like a cable crossover. When you were stretching into it, pushed it back. But most people do this. No, you, you want to push and pump. squeeze. Right, same thing. You try to use the new wrist wraps for more support so your wrists don't give out. Very handy. Wrap real tight, you can bench heavy. You do these type of things here. Anything you use with your wrist, you will make sure it's secure. Okay. This will make sure you're secure. Okay. Charles Glass here. You know, I've been in this business for over 35 years and enjoying it more now than I did then. And I've also got a new web page, godfatherbodybuilders.com. Also, you can check me out, new ebook coming out. A lot of good stuff coming in. So, we got a membership page. You can join. If you like it, if you don't, it's okay. But bottom line, you'll learn a lot of stuff from us. Please check us out.